This is Downcraft, and this is one of the newest mod packs available for Minecraft that everybody wants to play. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Downcraft, the easiest way I know. And please, somebody explain to me in the comments, how do you play this game mode? Because it's crazy, okay? So let's get started with the guide on how to install Downcraft in 2023. And for those of you that watch until the end, oh my god, I'm going to die. I'm going to show you how to add shaders to this game. Really, really simple. Also, I'll appreciate it if you like and subscribe. So let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so the first step to download Downcraft is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to a written guide on how to download and install CurseForge. Now, CurseForge is a launcher that we need in order to install Downcraft. And luckily, it's not only going to let you install Downcraft, but it's going to let you install any other mod pack like Arrowcraft, Pixelmon, Cobblemon, many, many mod packs. It has like a thousand mod packs. And so go ahead and click on the second link. This is our written guide. You can read through it and look at the photos. But the main thing here is to click the download button that says download CurseForge here. That is going to redirect you to this website where we're going to click download for Windows and that is going to start the download automatically. Now, in my case, it's asking me where I want to save the file. For you, it's probably going to download straight away and it's going to show on the top right. If you're using Chrome, it's going to show right here. Once you have that file downloaded, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop and it should look something like this, CurseForge installer. And installing CurseForge is as simple as just double clicking on it. Go ahead and double click on CurseForge. And after you double click on CurseForge, you're going to be prompted with the administrator sign, allow the program to run. And then this is going to come up. In here, you could select the language that you want CurseForge to reinstall. I'm going to select English, but if you speak any other language, like I do, for example, I speak Spanish, you could select your language of preference. Then go ahead and click next. And let's just wait for this to load and in here you're just gonna put that you have read and accepted the terms and then click next again in here do not click anything and then click next again and just wait for curseforge to install and if anybody watching this video doesn't want to install curseforge i know there probably is another way of installing downcraft but it probably take like twice or three times as long and you have to download a bunch of other things like all the mods independently and the mod pack independently and then install forge or fabric probably something like that very complicated so i can guarantee you that curseforge is going to be the easiest and simplest way to install any mod pack not just downcraft any other mod pack as you can see curseforge has finished installing and you will know that it's done because it's going to say launching here or it's going to show the desktop uh shortcut or it might open this website on the back as you can see here and whatever way you prefer to launch it go ahead and launch it i'm going to click in here where it says launch and that is going to open curseforge now since it is the first time you're opening curseforge it might take longer than usual because it is the first time it has to load everything and prepare for the launch but the second time you open it and any time after that it's going to load right away it's going to be really really fast just give it a second in here we're just gonna wait for that to load and it there we go it shouldn't be that long really and then it goes through this little intro in here and it's going to try and give you a tutorial, a little guide that you could skip. You could just click a skip intro because I'm going to show you exactly what to do. Once you skip the intro, it's going to have you choose a game, uh, the game that you're installing the mods for. Obviously, in this case, is Minecraft. So we're going to select Minecraft. If it's not on the top, just scroll down until you find it and then click on Minecraft. Now, in my case, you see that I have a lot of mod packs in here. You probably won't have anything. You probably will have an empty screen right here. That is because this is the first time you're installing CurseForge and that's totally fine. Whatever the case might be, just click where it says browse mod packs. And in here, you're gonna scroll down until you find Downcraft. You might find it in here, but if you don't, just click where it says search for mod packs and type Downcraft like this. And then click search or press enter. And there we go. We have Downcraft right here, an adventure RPG mod pack. You could just click install. And as you can see, this is two days ago. So this is the latest release, it's for 1.18.2. Just click install and that is going to start the installation for downcraft and while downcraft is installing i have some good news for you and that is our sponsor for today apex hosting if you're trying to play downcraft with your friends apex hosting is here for you offering 25 percent off your first server for any server that you make it could be downcraft it could be any other mod pack it could be for java for bedrock and they're open 24 7 meaning that you don't need your computer on for this server to be running and honestly i have been using apex hosting even before i had a youtube channel so it is great that i get to recommend them and if you use the first link in the description you get 25 percent off your first server with apex hosting and now let's see if downcraft finish and it's still installing as you can see it's a little bit long okay it's not that fast because look at this it says mod 67 out of 254 there's lots of mods to install and after around a minute downcraft has finished installing and now to open it just go ahead and click play and that is going to launch the minecraft launcher it's not going to open downcraft directly it's rather going to open this minecraft launcher which for your surprise it might have you log in that is because this is not the regular Minecraft launcher, not the one that you used to play often. This is the one that opens through CurseForge. So this is like a separate version of your Minecraft launcher where you have to log in in order to play the mod packs. Once you log in, though, it's like the same thing, it's the same launcher, 
And from here, you're going to be able to play whatever mod pack you selected back in CurseForge. So as you can see, Downcraft is already selected automatically. You could find it on your installations in here as well, which we're also going to need to come back here later. If you want to add shaders for those of you that watch this video until the end, I'm going to show you how to add shaders to this mod pack. Anyways, once you're here, if you want to play the mod pack, just go ahead and click on play and then click that you understand and click on play again. Keep in mind that it might take a little bit to load because like I said earlier, there's so many mods. There's more than 200 mods. I believe this mod pack has more mods than our craft and our craft already took long to load so i imagine this one might take even a little bit longer so i just give it a second and i'll see you once the game has loaded and there we go downcraft has already loaded and keep in mind that it took like a minute and a half to open so it might take even longer for you or hopefully it takes less doesn't matter whatever the case might be don't get oh i'm sorry i clicked something don't don't be impatient just wait for this to load and once you're here in the game in order to play just click on single player and create a new world it's as simple as that but before we do play on single player i want to show you how to add shaders for those of you that made it to this point of the video i promise you i was going to show you how to add shaders first thing we need to do is check if it has the option to add shaders already so let's go to options go to video settings and it already does as you can see it has a shader packs option already selected that means that we don't need to download anything extra the only thing we need to do is get shaders so in this tutorial i want to use bsl shaders and if you want to follow along go ahead and click on the third link in the description to add bsl shaders to your game you could also just get another shaders if you want any other shaders and then just follow along the steps that i'm gonna do with bsl shaders to add your shaders of preference so as you might recall it this minecraft is running on minecraft 1.18.2 as you can see downcraft right now is running on minecraft 1.18.2 in the future if you download this you need to check down here to see what version of minecraft you're using but in this case it's 1.18.2 so what we're gonna do is go to bsl to our guide in the description of course you could read through it but once you're here click on download bsl here that is going to redirect you over here then you're going to click on files there we go we're going to scroll down in files until we find 1.18.2 as you can see it's right here bsl 1.18.2 and that is the one we're going to download so click on download file that is going to redirect you over here where in five seconds the download will start automatically let me make this a little bit smaller uh, also you could delete curseforce installer once you're done installing it there you go the download has finished in my case it's asking me where i want to save the file but for you it's probably going to download automatically once you have the file go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop and as you can see we have bsl right here and we could just minimize the browser as of now and let's go back to the game so now we're in the game i'm going to launch a world to show you guys how the shaders look once i load into the world and as you can see it's, it's still loading stopping here that's normal i don't know how to play this mock pack to be honest i assume that you have to learn a lot of things in here but anyways I opened the world to show you the before and after once you add the shaders. So to add the shaders, it's really simple once we downloaded them. Just press escape, go to options, go to video settings, click on shader packs, and in here, click on open shader pack folder. And if you remember, I put BSL on my desktop earlier, right here. You could just go ahead and drag and drop it into here. And as you can see, I believe it already has shaders. As you can see, it already has shaded selected. So I guess we downloaded BSL for nothing. Well, I prefer BSL, but as you can see, it already has complementary seals renewed and cylinders, but I'm still gonna go ahead and add BSL. I totally didn't realize this already had shaders. So I guess that's an extra thing. If you downloaded shaders, you're still good. Just go ahead and click on shaders enable and you can select whatever shaders from here. I mean, we're gonna select BSL because those are the one we downloaded and I don't wanna feel stupid. <laughs> so just click on apply and then just wait for the shaders to load. And as you can see, the shaders have finally loaded. It actually was fast. It wasn't that long. And there we go. We have shaders in Downcraft and it looks beautiful. Oh my God, what is going on? This is, is this, is this mock pack like our craft or like you died so fast? It, it looks like it is, right? Like. In our craft, you die so fast, and in here, it looks like you do too. This is definitely a cool mod pack, and I might even play it for the channel. I don't know what you're supposed to do in here. That is pretty much how to download and install Downcraft, and it looks like that guy back there wants to come and kill me. So that is how to download and install Downcraft and how to add shaders. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if there's any issues that you have installing it, just let me know down in the comments, and if there's something else that you want to see in the channel, let me know down in the comments, and as always, bye-bye.